Hello everyone and I welcome all of you to online study for you one step solution for all your placement needs. So friends today we are going to solve Infosys puzzle question, Infosys data sufficiency question and deductive reasoning. So friends let us start with the question number one which is a puzzle question. So friends the number in the following four blocks of a squares have been filled according to some rule. Fill the number in the square with question mark. Now friends, so whenever some data will be given in terms of a, a square box, then probably you can go for adding all the numbers or you can uh, go for multiplying all the number. So friends, if I will add all the number, then 6 plus 1 will be 7, 7 plus 5 will be 12 and 12 plus 4 will be 16. So total addition will be 16. Then friends, here you can see 4 plus 8 will be 12, 12 plus 7 will be 19 and 19 plus 6 will be 25. Then if we add this box, so 11 plus 7 will be 18, 18 plus 10 will be 28 and 28 plus 8 will be 36. So friends, I could see this is 4 square, this is 5 square, this is 6 square. So this will be nothing but 49 that is 7 square because it should follow a particular pattern. So 10 plus 10 is 20, 20 plus 15 is 35 and 35 plus 14 will be nothing but equal to 49. So basically we have to put here 49 and then we will be able to get the sequence. Okay. So this is again one of the pattern which we have discussed here. Now friends, so Infosys data sufficiency problem. Okay. So friends, let us see what exactly we have to do in the data sufficiency problem. So Mary Annie has rupees 4 in 50 paise and 1 rupees coins. So Mary Annie has total 4 rupees and this 4 rupees is distributed in 50 paise coin and 1 rupees coin. Okay. Now how many 50 paise coins does she have? So she is having how many 50 paise coin that you have to tell. Now friends here you can see so statement 1 we will take. Okay. So she has less 50 paise coin than 1 rupees coin. So friends, if we we'll talk about the less number of coins, that means if 1 rupees is 3, then 50 paise will be 2. If 1 rupees is 4, then 50 paise will become 0 only. So 4 we cannot take. Okay. Now, and if I will take 1 rupees is 2, then 50 paise will become more. Right. Okay. So this is the only case where 1 rupees coin will be more than 50 paise coin or you can also say 50 paise coin will be lesser than 1 rupees coin. So 1 rupees coin means friends. So 3 into 1 this will become 3 rupees and 50 paise coin 2 means it will become 1 rupees and total will become nothing but 4 rupees. Right. So friends. Yes. So from a statement 1 we can tell the number of 50 paise coin will be 2. In that case only 1 rupees will be greater than 50 paise coin. Now friends statement 2. Friends. Please uh, be careful. You cannot take four uh, four uh, number of coins of one rupees and zero because they are telling she is having some fifty paise coin that is less. It has not been told she does not have any fifty paise coin itself. Now statement two, she has a total of five coins. So she has a total of five coins. Now if we we'll try to distribute and you have to make it total four rupees. So three coins will be of one rupees and two coins will be of 50 paise. In that case only 3 into 1 plus 50 into 2 will be nothing but 4 rupees. So from both the statement, right? So from statement 1, we will be able to tell the number of 50 paise coin. From the statement 2, also we will... From the statement 2 also, we will be able to tell the number of coins. Now friends, here you have to mark 1, 2, 3 or 4. So this is what was given. So mark 1 as the answer if the question can be answered by using one of the statement alone but cannot be answered using the other statement alone. No, here we are able to answer the question either by 1 or by 2. Mark 2 as the answer if this question can be answered by using either statement alone. So here we are able to get the answer 
by either of the statement so we have to mark option b that means two as the answer now friends so we will move towards the deductive reasoning problem now friends let us start with the question number one so that we will be able to understand uh, more so please select the right set of logically related combination okay so please select the right set of logically related combination now so here we have the option so how we have to approach this to this uh, problems is we have to start with the option so option a is a d e and now first check if they are logically related so a is some books are not novels so there are some books are there okay which are not novels so which are not novels okay so this is how we will draw okay then d only novels are fiction only novels are fiction means you can say all fictions are novel so all see all fictions are novel so we are directly jump to d so all fictions are part of novel okay no problem then e some books are not fictions yes so some books are not novel and fiction is inside the novel so you can also say some books are not fiction so a d and e is interrelated so obviously option a will be the correct answer here we could see so when we draw the diagram they are interrelated to each other now when i take option b okay so option b is nothing but a b c so option b is nothing but a b c okay so friends from here you will be able to find out the solution in the paid videos okay so friends there is one good news here so we have launched infosys one day cracker course so friends these courses will help you to understand the concept of the question which will be asked in the infosys examination so if you have five to six hours then you will be able to prepare for the inf infosys well so friends let us see the contents so topic one we will be having deductive reasoning so friends many of the students are confused with deductive reasoning like how to solve because this deductive reasoning co uh, contains syllogism as well and then friends we have logical reasoning so you might have seen the infosys sample paper so that logical reasoning problem also we have covered data sufficiency problem also we have covered and friends puzzle so puzzle we have covered top 40 questions so this 40 questions is of 40 different type which will enable you to think in the exam that how to tackle with the puzzle problem then the topic syllogism ratio and proportion percentage permutation and combination probability algebra mensuration and number series so this will be the topic which will be covered in the first part so friends and price also we have kept it very much low so we have just kept the price 249 rupees and it is one day cracker course is there and then friends we have pseudo code so pseudo code total 30 videos are there and friends we have covered from basic to the high level of the question okay and friends again we will see the content from the verbal ability part of view then critical reasoning is there reading comprehension is there english error correction english error identification para jumbles okay phrasal verb and friends similar looking words and corrective uses so these are the topic again which has been shared by the infosys and we have covered each and everything okay and friends this is one day cracker course so if you have one day time then you are going to prepare well in the advance so friends remember the price is just 249 rupees for this infosys cracker course and you can see all the top contents which a student is having lot of confusion we have covered it so friends what you have to do is you have to visit our website online study for you dot in okay so online study for you dot in so i will show you friends so you have to visit our website online study for you dot in and then you have to go to the premium material and then you have to select the video material and then if you search you will be able to find infosys one day cracker course so friends i wish you all the best for your infosys examination and i know definitely you are going to uh, make it with the infosys one day cracker course thank you friends